Alright, so I'm heading out. This is the wood pile that we ended up with. <laughs> After the big split. I think that's another name for the big bang. Boy, that's a lot of fucking wood, man. Over here is, uh... Shit, this wood is called... It's a certain type of wood. It burns, kind of smells when it burns, so it's used for outdoor. Uh, and also, when you split it, it's kind of orange, orangish red inside. It's not hickory. Anyway, if it comes to me, I'll tell you later. This is a lot of wood. We actually, actually cut down a tree. Uh, kind of clearing the area back there for a field. There's a lot of wood that was pre-split. Remnants. Aftermath. Sawdust. Over here is uh, more wood. It had been chopped before. It's really interesting being it's so windy. I wonder if, uh, if water's rolling in, if it's gonna rain. I don't think so. Got the uh, tripod in the backpack. It's kind of annoying because it's not really built for the backpack, so it's kind of like ding, 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 ding. What the fuck is this? We forgot to split this. That was a real forehead slapping moment when we realized that. Yeah, this whole lumberjacking business is its own thing, because I'm a real nature lover. But I guess being a part of a natural, being a naturalist, being a part of nature is cutting wood, cutting down trees, I guess, every once in a while. I mean, planting trees takes 40 to 100 years to grow. So that's really important too, but you know, if you gotta clear trees for land, then you gotta clear trees for land. It was weird, like, all this, this splitting, like I'd get these potato bugs and just slam them on the ground. Check this out. It's a golf ball. It's a golf course up there. There's like a, a neighborhood golf course along all the yards. Super fucking cool. Um, I'll show you the tree we took down. I thought after the tree felled that we, uh, felled fell. We felled it. I don't know, felled apparently is a present tense verb. This is the rest of the tree. Hi tree. We'll be good to you. Thank you for letting us use you. It's very weird, like I had mixed emotions about knocking that tree down. And you know, Bill's like, I'm morally object to it. Mor I I'm morally object? That's not what he said. He said, I'm morally objected to it, I think. And uh, I was like, you know, I've never really, I think I've been around people cutting down a tree and we, you know, we cut up wood and stuff, but like, it's been a while. So I decided, to, yeah, I'll do it. I'll go be a part of it. Busted out the chainsaw and uh, took it down. And uh, it was a weird feeling because part of me is like, it's life, you know? But then the other part of me is like, does it just feel like filing your fingernails to the earth? Probably, you know? Sure, it doesn't hurt. Hey, dragonfly, what's up? So, it's a very human thing to cut down woods. At least it was part of our history. In the future, I don't know, you know, trees, they'll grow invasively. Like, what was it, a Norwegian maple or a Norway maple tree, I think? Apparently, kind of grows and grows hard and fast and takes over and takes land away from other trees. So, much like people that hunt deer because they overpopulate the area and eat too much of the greenery and kill off, kind of end up dominating and killing off some of the other wildlife. We kind of manicure our environment by cutting it a little every once in a while. Hey, you know, if your fingernails grow too much, you cut them. And that's not like horrible for your fingernails. Here I go through my favorite area in the world. <laughs> 